Expedition 15 Aquarius is here, and it's helping bring new and returning players back by catching us hook, line, and sinker. Now I know you're in a hurry, so there's no long-winded intro here, let's just drop a line straight in and get fishing. Firstly, don't forget you can reduce some difficulty options if you're looking to speed through this expedition, including the ability to auto-catch fish if you're finding it frustrating. I do really enjoy the fishing aspect of the game, but I do understand that some people may want to blitz through it for the reward, so there's no judgement here, it's there if you want it or need it. This guide also assumes you're starting fresh, so I'm not taking anything on this expedition. Let's dive right in. Casting off. Simply use your visor and find your ship. You'll receive a pre-packaged portable refiner. Be sure to install it as you need it to repair your ship. Blue Yonder. Repair your ship. Thankfully, it's an easy one. You just need some dihydrogen jelly, which you should have in your starship's inventory, craft a hermetic seal, metal plating, and 50 pure ferrite. You can refine ferrite dust in your personal refiner, which is a reward from the casting off objective. You will also receive a pre-packaged hyperdrive once completing this objective, install it, and prepare to warp. You'll have one unit of warp fuel to send you on your way. Warp to the first wave point. After your first warp, you'll probably need to land on a planet with copper to craft more warp fuel. I recommend harvesting as much as possible and then make sure you put that in your personal refiner to get chromatic metal. Once you land on Rendezvous 1, head to the pod and retrieve the fishing rig blueprints. This will tick over your objective. Install the fishing rig into your multi-tool and head to the nearest body of water. Cast it and prepare to fish. But before you do, let's do a quick crash course in fishing. You cast out by moving your reticle to a body of water. You'll see a bunch of fish in the water that will swim around. Eventually, one will strike at your line. If the line is yellow, let it mellow. The fish may take on a few false strikes before taking the actual bait. Once the line goes green, it's time to reel it in. You just press and hold the same button that you used to cast on switch at ZR and you land your first catch. This will also tick off your toe in the water objective. You can fish here for as long as you like and I recommend completing the wading in objective which is catching five fish and it will award you a nutrient processor. The one that is what you get when losing a catch, you can actually just lose the catch on purpose once one bites, press the button and then let go of it and that will tick off that objective. You can also trigger a hook, line and sinker if you're lucky enough to land an uncommon fish. I recommend releasing a few fish back into the water to tick off the freedom of the sea objective which awards a fishing skiff plan. And deploy your nutrient processor to tick off the final objective in phase 1 which is catch of the day. Phase 1 is now complete. Head back into space and gear up with anything you may need at the space station. I recommend stocking up on cobalt and ferrite dust as well as tritium. Move towards Rendezvous 2 for the Gone Fishing 2 objective. Once completed I recommend we try out the fishing skid but first you have to install it. You should already have enough salt in your inventory for one part of the blueprint. Harvest crystal sulfates from in the water to get two in total. Refine pure ferrite to make your magnetized ferrite. And then you should be good to install your fishing skiff module in your exosuit. You deploy the skiff the same way as you do summon your ship or a trade rocket. Put it in the water anywhere you like to tick off the pond skipper objective. I recommend storing all your fish into the skiff for later. Inventory carries across new systems and the storage space is absolutely huge and you'll need that for a later objective, so hang on to as many fish as you can. But while we're here, let's tick off a few more objectives. Apply some bait by selecting your fishing rig in the multi-tool interface. Select the option to apply bait and give it a cast. You should have dangling bulbs from previous quest rewards, so I recommend installing them. This will complete the taking the bait objective, and if you're fishing during the day, that bait will help you tick off the sun in the water objective. At night time, you can do the opposite and fish for nocturnal fish to tick off the night fishing objective, and with a little luck, as the Rendezvous Planet 2 is a superheated planet, you should tick off the in hot water for catching uncommon high temperature fish. 
Using bait will speed up a lot of these objectives during this time, so don't underestimate the use of bait. I also managed to tick off the Lunker objective for catching three large fish. Don't stress if you don't, it will just tick off naturally. It's not something you really have to focus on. During this time, you should also fish up a message in the bottle, but it's faster if you have the objective selected. Open it up in your inventory to tick off the message in the bottle objective. And also, if you're in water that's over 60 units deep, you can tick off Inky Depths objective and then put your rod away and dive to the bottom to tick off the free diving objective for two really easy wins. Now let's start moving towards Rendezvous 3. Don't worry about the radioactive fish objective in phase two yet. We'll get that out of the way because there's a radioactive planet in the third Rendezvous system. Let's head to the secret fishing spot first. There's a lot we're gonna do on this third planet. At the third Rendezvous spot, you should complete the Gone Fishing 3 objective and we need to fish five uncommon cold fish for the ice cold objective. To retrieve your message in the bottle for the Tales of the Wave objective, remember to select it to make it tick over quicker. And once you read that message, you'll get an automatic fish trap plan. During this time, depending on what day you're in, you should have already ticked over the night fishing and day fishing objectives, as well as you might already hit the weighed in objective, which is landing 100 fish. I also managed to land a legendary fish on the Rendezvous 3 for Miss of the Deep milestone. Don't stress about it, it's something that will just come along. This seems to come down to chance and you can use a bit of bait to speed that process up. Also on Rendezvous 3, if you jump into the water and scan the selfish type creature that should be right below you, it will tick off the Abyssal Wonder objective. Now let's deploy three automated traps and use a base computer somewhere near deep water. The trickiest part of those traps is the ion batteries, which if you've got cobalt and ferrite dust, you should be good. We need our automated traps to catch a total of 13 fish for the lazy angler milestone. But there's plenty of things to do while they're catching away, so just remember to empty them every now and then. Let's build an underwater base though while we're waiting. You do need to get some living pearls to create certain aspects of the base from armored clans and while you only need two for construction, you need to get 15 for the pearls of wisdom objective. All you have to do is hit the armored clans with your laser and they open up, grab the pearl before they shut or you might get a little bit of damage. Head down to 30 units of depth, select the objective child of the sea, construct the parts listed and you'll complete that objective. Surface and empty your traps. If you need to kill more time, feel free to head up to space and summon the anomaly to learn the trade rocket recipe. Head down to the surface again and start selling fish from your skiff. You'll need 500k worth of fish for the fresh sell fish objective, which accumulates so it doesn't have to all be in one go. If you're short, don't worry, because there's plenty of fish in the sea. Now let's head to the radioactive planet in the same system as the Rendezvous 3 planet and start fishing for radioactive fish. Remember, bait will always speed this process up to unlock the feed water milestone. You can deploy automatic fish traps if you haven't completed that objective. And once you tick those objectives off, let's head to Rendezvous 4. Heading into Rendezvous 4, you'll tick off the Gone Fishing 4, select the phase message in a bottle quest and start fishing for it. Once you land that and read the message, you'll complete the call of the water. And if you've been following this guide, the fourth phase is now complete. So you can just head straight to Rendezvous 5. We're almost there. At Rendezvous 5, you'll want to dive under the water to get to the ruins. Allow the Gone Fishing 5 objective to tick over and head to the surface. Select the Angler's Rest objectives and fish up a bottle. And now you have to catch the Scales of Fire. There are a lot of theories on this one, but it just seems to come down to RNG. I caught mine on the Angler's Legendary Rod with no bait in 60 units of depth. Some people say that they had better luck using auto traps while fishing as well. It took me about 30 casts and I got it. We only have one objective left, which is the Fins of Thunder. And unfortunately, it's a doozy. We only have to catch three fish that are exclusive to storms, which is easier said than done. This objective can take a long time if you're doing it wrong, but there's easy ways to complete it. Firstly, look for a planet that has activated copper. 
You can do this by selecting your logbook, finding materials, and selecting the activated copper material. It'll let you know if there's a planet in your system that has it. If not, walk to a new planet until it says start scanning planets. The reason we're looking for activated copper is that these planets usually have longer lasting storms to make life a little bit easier. Craft magnetized bait and start fishing. Keep the fish bio in mind as well because when I caught my fish it was very random and it said that it was abundant in shallow water. So I moved to shallow water instead of the deeper water that I was in and the next two were landed very quickly, finally completing this expedition. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed some downtime fishing and now you can head back to the anomaly to earn some nice rewards on your main save. Don't forget to redeem those rewards with the expedition's merchant so you can carry them across and have fun angling. If you found this guide useful, please consider giving this video a like and subscribe and if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. I'm really active on this channel, so hopefully you won't have to wait too long for an answer. We also have a fantastic community that might jump in and help as well. Until next expedition, I'll see you amongst the stars, my fellow travelers. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. The best way you can support me is to like and subscribe and continue watching my content if you enjoy it. But if you do want to go that bit extra, you can buy me a coffee or join our Patreon, which shows you behind the scenes of this channel. Thanks again.